I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a shamrock tower. On the left hand side I take three fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I draw a curved line up, in, and stop. Come back to the dot, curve line up, in, stop, and leave it floating. Come back to the left hand side. We're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Come on the right hand side. Curve line out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Now come back down here to the left and we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page on the left. Come on the right hand side. Curve line down off the page on the right. Come up to the top. We're going to draw one dot, two dots, big curve line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. Okay, coming up two fingers, put a dot, and from that dot we're going to draw a curve line out and in, come back to the dot, curve line out and in, come to the left, curve line out, in, out, in, leave it floating, come to the right hand side, curve line out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Now we come back to the left and we draw a slightly curved line down until bam, it crashes into the first one, leave it alone, come on the right hand side, slightly curved line down, in, connect. Come up to the inside. One dot, two dots, big curve line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. Come up, two fingers, put a dot. From that dot, curve line out, in, leave it floating, curve line out, in, leave it floating on the right. Come back to the left. Curve line out, in, out, in, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side. Curve line out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Now come to the left. Slightly curve line down. Bam! It crashes into that. Leave it alone. Come on the right. Slightly curve line down, bam, leave it alone. Come up to the inside. One dot, two dots, big curve line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. One finger, put a dot, little curve line up, down, leave it floating, come back to the dot little curve line out, in, and leave it floating. Come back to the left, curve line out, in, out, in, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, curve line out, in, out, in, and leave it floating. Come back to the left, slightly curve line down, bam, it crashes into that one, leave it alone. Come on the right hand side, slightly curve line down, bam, it crashes into that one, leave it alone. Come up, one dot, two dots, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Alright, if you have room, just put a dot, curve line out, in on the left, curve line out, in on the right. Come back to the left, curve line out, in, out, in, 
leave it floating come on the right curve line out in out in leave it floating come back to the left little curve line down bam crashes into it leave it alone come on the right hand side little curve line down bam crashes in leave it alone one dot two dots little curve line little little curve line now on the top one if you have room it's the top of our shamrock tower we're going to put some little straight lines all the way around but we're still not done now come over here on the left hand side and we're just going to draw a curve line jump over curve line down off the page come up again curve line bam it crashes into that jump over curve line down off the page come up a little bit more curve line bam it crashes into that one jump over don't draw through your drawing curve line out off the page keep going curve line bam it crashes into that one jump over curve line off the page if you have room curve line jump over curve line off the page okay let's see how we're going to color this in okay we did such a good job on coloring in our shamrocks and putting these cute little faces that I didn't want to lose them using a regular green crayon although you can use a regular green crayon I ended up using yellow green because it just gives you a little bit more opportunity to see the drawings that you just did with all these cute little faces so you kind of want to just do a lighter green now if all you have is dark green you can use that too regular green just make sure you don't kill your faces color this section light so you can still see them so taking my green whatever color I took all of my shamrocks all the way up to the very tippy top with green okay some of you might have a bunch of different colored greens you could do that also but I did mine all the same color yellow green okay then my background is going to be a rainbow so using my colors that I had in my crayon bag first I did blue you can do yours in any order you want but I did blue then I did yellow and you're going to color way better than I am I'm just trying to get this on you won't do scribble scrabble like I am yellow and then I did red you gotta be kind of careful around your shamrocks because the littler they become the more careful you have to be around those edges so you don't all of a sudden come in with a strange looking shamrock color if it accidentally crashes into your rainbow then I did orange and this is a good way of making sure you know your colors then I did orange then I did purple jump over don't color through your drawing and I ended up with blue again okay hokey dokey and this one you also have to be careful because you want to color it just right okay all right it's very messy sorry about that like I said you got you guys will do a way better job than I am right now all right let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my shamrock tower with the rainbow all colored in we're at that time of the year this might be a good time to check and see if everybody knows their colors 
Okay, bye-bye.